And good morning everyone and welcome to another week at Cambridge. It is now week three and things are starting to get quite busy. Like the coming week I've got lots of work to hand in and also lots of social activities so it's going to be interesting how I juggle those. At the minute I'm a bit stressed. Well like yesterday I was so stressed. I've been having so many issues with my laptop, my MacBook Air. It's annoying but I'm trying not to stress about it because I'm like it's just a laptop page, it's just a laptop, like worse things have happened but like literally I was on the verge of tears yesterday when I realised uh, Microsoft Office had stopped working too because I was like great well I can't use Excel, I can't use Word so it's useless for my uni work. It's also useless for editing videos at the moment because of an issue with the photos and imports and iCloud and I think between lectures this morning I'm gonna have another look at it and see if it's anything I can sort but it looks likely that I'm gonna have to go back up to the Apple store this afternoon. To top things off I didn't get a good night's sleep last night because the person in the room next door to me has their bathroom and it backs on like to where my bed is so whenever they use their bathroom whenever they run their sink whenever they have a shower whenever they do anything in the bathroom I hear it really clearly when I'm in bed and they have a habit of going to bed like quite late like midnight and I'll be in bed then and I get woken up every time and I know it's not their fault because you know they didn't design the place they didn't design that their bathroom back backing onto where my bed is so like no blame on them at all and sure they're entirely free to go to bed whenever they want but I think they should have a curfew of say 10 p.m. each night yeah anything else to say no I think I'm gonna run off to lectures now because I'm running late it's a busy day as we know I'm behind on work so I spent most of my time at the Apple store the last few days so I'm gonna get going so I'm running late I'm finally out I forgot my bike helmet then I dropped my key card to my room down the stairs so I had to run down the stairs retrieve my key card run back up grab my bike helmet run back down and now we're going to the bikes Tim's with me yeah. so at least I'll be late with someone else <laughs> so it's fine it's cool I reckon we'll get there on time we can cycle quickly where's Yijia though have you seen Yijia oh, this morning Oh, you Joe's a fast cyclist as well. Yeah. He'll be there with time to spare. Right, I'm gonna sign off and get going to this lecture. It's 9.02 and we're here. That's basically nine o'clock, so it's fine. Okay, so that's the first lecture over. Um, I quite like this lecture. He explains things quite well. Tim's complaining about the room because the room does have some effect on you that makes you want to fall asleep. It's also very early. Are we going to break the one-way system today, Tim? I think we are. We're going to break the one-way system and go out the inn entrance to the lecture theatre. Don't tell anyone. So we think other people might be cottoning onto the fact that there's a pretty good library here to go to between lectures. And we're a bit upset because what if there's not enough tables and seats for everyone? We're going to have to sneak here in the future so no one sees where we're going. Disaster. And here we have me struggling and trying to figure out the issue with my MacBook Air. Spoiler alert, I failed. Okay, so change of plan. I have now left the library and I'm heading to the Apple Store. Okay, so good news, I think I've sorted it. I've now seen three people at the Apple Genius Bar. I think their combined Apple tech knowledge has sorted out my issue and that I can now edit my videos so I'm so relieved. I then went to two more lectures that morning. That's sweet. I'm featuring you guys. <laughs> I'm featuring you. <laughs> okay, so I am just heading to CAF. I was gonna make a sandwich for lunch, then I realized Will is cooking for the staircase this evening and he's likely to poison us with his food. So I'm gonna have a sandwich this evening as a backup and go to CAF now. Okay, so this afternoon I've got a fair few supervision questions I want to get through. I just want to blitz all my work today so I can have a nice relaxed weekend. I've got a lot of plans for the weekend. I'm seeing my family, I've got a swap tomorrow evening which you'll see more of later in the video I'm sure. And it, there's just lots of things planned for the weekend so I don't know how much work I'm going to fit in at the weekend. So I need to get ahead of my work right now. So. Basically the aim is to get as many questions as I can possibly get done this afternoon. We'll see how it goes. Hello, 
so earlier on I finished my work and I went and handed it in and since then I've actually been editing a video since this is the first day I can actually edit a video since forever because my Mac is finally fixed so oh my god let me show you this I'd be so happy that these clips are all in the iMovie timeline like this is all I've wanted and ah uh, thank god it's Friday night tonight which means it's staircase Friday night dinner uh, and Will is cooking, as I mentioned earlier. So apparently he's doing some sort of mushroom risotto. Ella is kind of supervising. She's taken him to Sainsbury's to help him buy ingredients. I believe they might be cooking it now. I'm actually going to go down and see how everything's going and wait for food because I'm really hungry. Eat like it. Here is chef number one. And here's yeah. chef number two. <laughs> chef number zero is Ed. Does anyone... I've just spoken to my parents on the phone and I've had some chocolate biscuits as well actually just to finish off my dinner so that was good and now I'm going to get back to some work I've got a few more physics bits and pieces I want to get done this evening it's already quarter past nine though so I'm not going to stay up too late I have got to get up fairly early tomorrow morning because I've got a supervision at 9 45 not fun like I thought my days of working on Saturdays were over like last year I had Saturday lectures. I don't have lectures on Saturdays anymore, which is nice. I was like, wait, fine, it's great. I have no contact hours on a Saturday, but what have they done? They've given me a supervision on a Saturday this week. And it's in the morning, but it should be fine because straight after the supervision I can go to brunch and that'll make me feel better. So it turns out it's a cruel, cruel world and the cafeteria brunch was actually cancelled the next day. And I suppose it will get me up for the day. So yeah, I'm going to get going with some work now. Hopefully I can be ahead for the weekend. Huh, ahead of work. Paige, that was wishful thinking. But top marks for effort, I suppose. Okay, so I've just realised that I haven't done my laundry today and I'm about to run out of clothes, so let's cut to the laundry room. Hello everyone and welcome to the new and improved laundry segment. Now, as you might know, I am a bit of a laundry queen. I am the laundry master of Cambridge. I feel like I'm very good at it. Today I have a laundry apprentice with me. Hi. This is Ella. So one of the best parts about our staircase this year is that we have a laundry room in the staircase. This is all ours. Mm -hmm. All our stuff. Okay, so this year I've also got sacks to put my laundry in. It makes much more sense than reusing plastic bin bags each time. So while we put my laundry on, oh, I've got some of you guys over on Instagram to send me in a few questions. Why does Will look like Rumpelstiltskin? Okay, so we have a theory that there's like a triangle. Will is here, Rumpelstiltskin is here, and Shane Dawson is here. <laughs> And they're all the same. What do you think, guys? Yeah. Let us know. What are your thoughts? How do you keep concentrated in lectures? I want to know the answer to this one. I record the number of times I get distracted in a lecture. Mm. So I take like, little tallies at the bottom of the page, and like, if it's less than a certain number, then like, we get a point. I just highlight everything. I highlight That's the whole it. page. So I have, that keeps me concentrated. I do colour coordinated highlight and letters. So I can see which lecture is which. By because I wrote it like pink, purple, green, pink, purple, green. Mm. Okay, well, I have now loaded up the laundry. We're ready to go. So we're ready to turn it on. Ooh. Now, setting, I'm going to go on oh, yeah. 40 degrees cottons today. And it's going. We have success. Okay, and that's it from us today. Bye, everyone. Bye. Good morning. So I'm up. I've just got my cereal. The classic shreddies, of course. I'm a bit put out because I went down to the kitchen this morning and was pouring my milk for my cereal and I was like, wait, this bottle is only half full. I bought this bottle like two days ago and I've actually only had one bowl of cereal with it so far. And I was like, surely I don't have that much milk. So I tested it, I mean, I measured how much I poured out for this bowl of cereal, which is exactly the same as the one I had the other day. A fraction of the amount. So someone is using my milk. And like, I wouldn't usually mind, like I'm more than happy to share milk with people. I actually think buying a group milk is a much better idea than buying them individually. And that is what we'd been doing. But like, in the past week, a lot of people have just been like, you know, dropping out of it. And now they're stealing my milk. What's that about? So, yeah, I've made a note of what the level is now. I'm going to be keeping an eye out for any future people taking my milk. So, beware guys, I am totally on it. 
and that's that. Okay, so I'm just about to head off to my supervision this morning. It's for an hour and a quarter and it's for one of my physics modules. Okay, so I'm now back from my super. I've been back for a while actually. I've been just going over some electric fields notes. I hung my laundry up, got it out of the washing machine, hung it up. And I've also been doing a bit of admin stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go get lunch now because I'm feeling quite peckish. Now I don't actually remember what I have in the fridge, so I hope I have something for lunch. Right, that's my bread, that's a good start. Um, oh my god, I forgot I got this. I got mackerel pate. This is the realities of student life. Like, the fridge is bare. I have nothing. I need to do a Sainsbury's trip. It's fine, my parents are coming tomorrow. I'll make them buy me food. Okay, so I'm just about to pop off for a rowing outing. I've made quite slow progress through the physics questions, like each question is requiring me to think about it quite a lot <laughs> to actually get to the answer. And I'm also like going through the lecture notes as I go to the relevant parts and then making flashcards on it and really consolidating it all. Cause I don't want to do the questions just for the sake of it. Like I'm doing the questions to make sure I really understand that part of the course. Anyway, I'm leaving that for the time being because I've got to be at the boathouse in like 10 minutes time. Okay, so I'm back from my rowing outing. The swap this evening, which is now's probably the time to explain what a swap is. So basically a swap is when like two groups, usually from two different colleges or two different clubs or societies, um, go out to a restaurant and have food and there's usually a few drinking games involved as well. It's been almost a year since my last swap so <laughs> it'll be interesting but I thought why not do one tonight? It is with the boat club, Jesus Boat Club and Pembroke Boat Club, another college boat club and we're all going to Mai Tai which is a restaurant in Cambridge. Okay so I've done my hair and makeup and I'm ready to go out now. I thought I'd get ready first because I don't like the stress of having to get ready at the last minute having spent too long on my work, so I've done it the other way around. I've got ready first, because <laughs> prioritizing makeup, of course, over work, who wouldn't? And um, now I am back onto my electromagnetic fields questions, which I've suddenly realized I've got quite a few to do still off, so that's a stress, and I'm still going out tonight to a swap. <laughs> okay, so me and Ella are heading off to Pre's for the swap. Pre's are in one of the rooms at college, and then we're going to walk to Mai Tai. Should be fun, mm -hmm. it's Ella's first ever swap. It is, and I organised it. <laughs> yeah, and Ella, Ella is social sec of the boat club, so she is one, running one this of, one evening. One of the two social secs. One of the two, one That's of the awesome. two, of course. So this is the rather impressive captain of the boats room at college, and it was where pre-drinks were held. Okay, so we've made it to Mai Tai, and we are now waiting for Pembroke to turn up. Okay, whatever. Here's Jesus, ready for the swap. In okay, so the swap is in full swing. Um, the food is actually good. And I'm enjoying my wine. My wine is nearly gone. But well, I have enjoyed it. I've got double headship. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so food has been finished, alcohol is mostly finished. Woo! Here we go. Shut up. Oh, Here's everyone. everyone. Who's not only talking to me, but three days. Happy birthday, Ed. Thank you. How does it feel? Ah, uh, bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm old now. Uh, so old. I'm a dad now. But well, now, I flipped, now it. I flipped the it. Yeah. I'm the star you said Michelle. your part. No, I'm now, the birthday boy. We're in yeah, Ed's room. Um, um, apparently, you're not the star is... anymore of the vlogs. No. People start taking No, more people don't them. comment on you so much. I, know, well, I haven't been in it. I haven't been in it very a lot. In, oh, here you um, are. You're in the vlog. Yeah. There's a lot of me. Right. Here's your moment. Um. Fans, unite, um, comment about me. 
Thanks. <laughs> Just comment happy birthday to Ed. True. So tomorrow, both me and Will are going out with our parents, aren't we, Will? Yeah. Separately. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two family gatherings. It should be good. Where are you going? Well, I'm going for brunch with my parents in the morning. Good morning. So I've made it up. I'm expecting my parents to arrive very, very shortly, like in 10 minutes time. I've whizzed around my room, given it a quick tidy before they arrive, so it's looking, it's looking in decent shape. Not gonna lie, I'm a teeny bit hungover this morning, um, but last night was so much fun. Um, and I feel like brunch is the perfect hangover cure as well, so that should be good. We're not going to brunch in college, we're going to some sort of cafe in Cambridge, I think. Morning. That looks pretty good. I might put one on my Instagram story. Hey, don't say, don't pretend you're having my food. Because you think it looks okay. This no, is I Lydia's didn't food. That. I didn't mean that. <laughs> Look. Look at this. Nothing left. Nothing left. Ridiculous. So, milk gate continues. I've just been down to the gyp and my milk has gone down to like this much left in the bottle. Like I've literally had a splash of it myself and basically the whole bottle has been drunk by other people, it seems. So I've just messaged the group chat and been like, is communal milk still supposed to be happening? Maybe there's some misunderstanding and people thought it was communal, but it wasn't intended to be, but like, I'm happy to share milk if they just identify themselves and buy me milk next week. <laughs> the reason I'm back in my room is because I've got quite a few bits and pieces of work I want to get done and I'm going in two hours time or just under two hours time to an ambassador training thing as well so if I get two hours of work done now that's good. <laughs> training is very busy lots of freshers lots of people keen to represent the college so i just realized i never actually explained what this ambassadors thing is basically it's all about students helping with outreach events run by the college okay so we've come out for a meal um for my mum's birthday which is tomorrow it's called Galleria. Restaurant Galleria. So the ambassadors thing lasted two hours earlier and we had a talk on what they do and what's expected of us. It's quite good because you can pick and choose which like workshop events and outreach events that you do and it sounds like something I want to get involved in. Okay, it's time for dessert and let's face it, it's the best part of the meal. I've got some sort of praline based chocolate mousse thing. Good morning, so I'm walking to lectures this morning because I couldn't be bothered to get on my bike. And since I'm meeting my parents after lectures, it'd be annoying if I then had my bike in town having to cycle it back. And it also meant I could have a breakfast bar on the way to lectures because I didn't have time for breakfast this morning. It's a busy morning, lots of people going about their day, lots of buses, lots of cyclists, classic Cambridge. This would usually be me on a bike. Oh, that's you, Jack. So we are in Windsor Express and we've just had lunch here. It's my mum's birthday today. And uh, lectures this morning were good. Did you update us? How's life? On life? Yeah. On life. What are you doing at the moment? Are you applying to uni? It's a lot of questions. Um, yes, I'm applying to uni. I've submitted my applications, but I think I'm failing my coursework, so it's good. But you've already got an offer, right? Yeah, Durham, AAB, so that's all right. And what course are you going to apply for? Human or have sciences. you applied for? Human sciences. It's like an interview. So that's the update from my sister. She's doing well. She's also 18 now. She had her birthday the other day. So she is an adult. She may not act like one, but she is an adult. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. We're going to the library. Okay, so I've just got in from the library and I 
dropped off my work and handed it in on the way back from the library so that's good but oh my god I am so tired and like I just don't know where all this work has come from like I swear like two days ago I was like oh, I'm so ahead of my work and now I feel so behind like I'm like literally there's a deadline every single day I'm gonna do another hour of work this evening because I do want to prepare for my practical tomorrow because my lab tomorrow does count towards my final grade for this year. Okay, so I've looked over the stuff for practical a little bit tomorrow. My lab doesn't start till 10 tomorrow. And that gives me maybe an hour's worth of work in the morning if I start working at 8.40. And then tomorrow evening, I've got another set of questions that are due in on Wednesday morning to get done tomorrow evening. And uh, oh, by the looks of things, I'm also gonna get done some more physics questions that I didn't think needed doing but actually do need completing before Wednesday. You can see things have suddenly got very, very hectic out of nowhere. So good morning, I am up this morning. So my supervisor emailed us at 11 o'clock in the evening last night being like, oh, please could you prepare the answers to these questions and hand them in by six o'clock tomorrow. Now they sent that at 11 o'clock yesterday evening and I've got a lab 10 till 5.45 today, so like, it's like literally impossible for me to do that work and hand that in when they've only given me warning at 11 o'clock last night and I've got a lab till 5.45 today. Okay, so I'm midway through my lab and I've just had my lunch break and I'm having a bit of a mare, like I'm so behind. I'm working by myself because there was an odd number in the class. I got back from labs at like just past six and I went to CAF as well to get dinner and that brings me to now. Like as you might have guessed from earlier, the lab was pretty stressful because I was working by myself because there was an odd number of people in the class. There was a lot more time pressure on me to get all the tasks done and the labs are time pressured as it is. Like I had a 10 minute lunch today. Hello and welcome to my breakdown. Oh my God. I'm so stressed, you have no idea. I'm just staring at these maths questions and like, everyone I'm like, okay, well, I don't like the look at that question. Let's go on to the next one, see if that's any nicer. And I look at the next question, stare at it for a while. I think, don't know how to do that question. Like, don't even know where to start. <sighs> I really don't get this stuff. Generally, I need to stop stressing. Like, this stuff is not worth getting upset over, but like, oh. I just think I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself this term and I'm just so determined to keep up. Like the thought of dropping behind just literally makes me really, really upset. So yeah, a little bit of a work crisis. So the world seems against me this morning because the door to where I was handing my work was locked. So I had to wait for the porters to unlock it. And so now I'm speed walking to lectures. Also, I forgot my glasses, so I have to go back to the staircase to start off with, and it's not going well. Literally left so much time this morning, but then spent like 10 minutes waiting for the door to be unlocked at Sydney, Sussex. Like, why does this happen to me? I'm really wishing I had my bike right now. I made it to lectures and got a much needed coffee. Okay, so quick update. I've just had a extremely quick lunch. Like I literally had to speed walk back from lectures, have lunch in 10 minutes, and I'm now heading off to a supervision. And then after that supervision, I have to cycle at high speed to West Cambridge for another supervision. And then I'll, I'll, I'll probably speak to you again at that point because let's face it, between now and then, I am very, very, very busy. Okay, so me and Tim are about to cycle back to college after our supervision in West Cambridge. Um, but Tim's bike is broken. Here we have Tim doing some DIY. Yeah. Um, his chain has got caught in, what's it even caught in? Um, I don't know, I'm just thinking between the spokes and the gears. Yeah, there's, it, it, it's just, it's very much caught. Mm. And um, it did it earlier. And um, now I think this bike needs a bit of a service, possibly. Comment down below if this has ever <laughs> happened to you before. Oh, <laughs> Have you ever had to deal with this situation? <laughs> and if so, how would you solve it? Yeah, let us know. <laughs> Okay, so this vlog will be going up in a week or so's time, <laughs> yeah. so we'll be here till then. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I'm back from West Cambridge. Um, had to leave Tim there, you know, couldn't get back. Um, but now I'm off to a careers event because I care about my career. Centre for Mathematical Sciences. Careers. 
How exciting. So, it is very busy, as you might be able to tell. Okay, so me and Tim have made it out of the event. We, we've lost Yija in there, and you know, we were thinking of leaving, but we've realised we can't actually go without him because our bikes are all chained together. And I've been asking about um, the actuarial profession because it is something I am considering. And you know, I've got a lot of info, info about internships and the like. There was one that I really liked the sound of, which was like a five day thing, so it like, can give you a flavour. So we'll see. Camera, this is my flag. It is the West Sussex flag. So just to explain to the vlog, um, as you can see down here, a lot of the staircase have got flags to, oh, I've done this wrong, represent um, them. So no, my, my, my dad visited, he was like, why don't you have a flag? And I was like, well, I don't know. Like, I just don't. And so I just checked my pigeonhole and he's ordered me a West Sussex flag. So now, I am represent- oh no, I've tried it in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> that don't work. Let's undo the knot. Oh, is Paige getting it this oh, time? that's a better position. There we go. Ta-da! Impressive. Okay, so I'm back in my room and I've got some work to do this evening. So I'm going to start by doing that and then I also wanted to look at internships online and I wanted to edit a video, but I'm going to get my work done first so that's not going to build up and stress me out and then I'll do the other stuff. So yeah, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. So please do like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more videos from me, including more Cambridge vlogs. And hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. And I will see you soon with another video. Bye!